think I hit the panic button there, Greg. What am I new? Lights on the back stretch. See, I'm pleased we've got two nights to do this this year. A field of cars ready to go. Remember in our heat earlier on, David Hay Bear. Slammed the wall on the back straightaway. That crew went to work, made repairs to the right front of that 01 GM Pie machine. He will roll off in the 24th position. As you mentioned, Greg, anybody who participated in that second qualifying heat, they are a war battled driver now. Like, there should be a badge. They should all have a sticker on their car that they passed the car. Well, you could tell the 24 machine had been in that qualifying heat by the the scuff marks <laughs> right front of Navu's ride there. And, and that was the battle scar that came out of that. A Bear's got his car all fixed up. He took a hard hit on that back stretch wall, but it looks good. And these are durable race cars. I mean, I, I brag on these cars. I've had the pleasure of announcing this series since 2007. These are the toughest NASCAR stock cars in the world. There is no error. In fact, if one of these bodies flew right off the race car, it, it wouldn't slow it down. So they're tough, rugged machines, and they're gonna do battle out here. This is an impressive field from front to back. Kenny Schrader on the inside in the 22. Trayton Loxovich on the outside in the number 20. They're gonna bring us to green for the Bridgestone Dirt Classic. Clean start down into turn number one. Schrader down low. Lapsovich with a good run off the second turn. They'll race door to door down the back stretch. Already three wide behind the top five. Stuart Friesen. Works to the inside of three cars. Make it now to his outside as they're four wide. Dave Bailey tried to stick a nose in there. They come down the front stretch and complete the first lap. It's wild, three wide at the front. Who had Alex Tagliani swinging to the outside to go three wide on their bingo card tonight? The driver from Lachine, Quebec, working the high side. Trayton Larsovich down low. They'll drag race off a of turn four. Kevin Lacroix right in the thick of this as well. He's running in that 74 machine to the outside of Kenny Schrader. He's riding that same line as Tagliani now through corner number two. Schrader has slipped back to the fourth spot. And it's only a matter of where they are in the, the rotation here of getting their opportunity to go racing. Tagliani going to lead this lap as well with Trayton Lapsovich second. Wow, nice save there by Bois on the front stretch. The back end of that car was wobbling side to side as he got a little help from behind. Now he works to the inside of Dexter Stacy down the back stretch. The lead pack of, oh, we got one sideways on the front stretch. That's Wallace Stacy. He'll get that car rolling. Gonna take off. I think he'll get back around the 20 of Lapsovich and will organize this field. But this is already different than what we saw last year, isn't it? Yeah, it definitely is. It's uh, well, you look at it. There's a lot more car control, and you're seeing some guys last year that struggled out of the gate, showing a lot more confidence. And Tagliani is a perfect example of that. You mentioned who would have seen him making a three wide on the outside drop flag there's some drivers that I think as the more laps wind on are going to get more and more confident and uh, we're seeing that early on here tonight already we should mention only green flag laps tonight count as Clint Steyer's given a shove to 
Trevor Monahan down the front stretch. Let's have a look at this replay. I believe we're going to either look at Wallace Stacy spinning or Daniel Bois getting sideways. Just kidding. Dagliani leads the way over Trayton Lapsovich in the 20, Kevin Lacroix in the 74, the 22 of Ken Schrader. 17 of DJ Kennington rounds out the top five. They were racing in a tight pack with a bit of a gap back to Dexter Stacy in the 92, the 19 of Stuart Friesen. See the shine on the track, the, the lights as the cars go by, the glow off of it, that gives you an idea of how dry slick this race track is. But no, the only dust we've seen was very early tonight, at the, really in practice. Yeah, it's been sealed over well. A couple of different types of compound on this racetrack. We're general tire here for the NASCAR Pinty Series. And oh, there's no rubber coming off of those tires. No. Like, if you stuck your thumb in the tire and then stuck your thumb in the fiberglass body, <laughs> they're about the same hardness. See, I heard that about these tires. One to go. We'll double this field up. I'm a little surprised Agliani chose to go to the inside there. In that 18 machine, Trayton Lapsovich up to the high side. The field doubles up and falls in line behind them. I expect on these restarts, this, and I mean, dirt racing more so than asphalt. A, a veteran driver expects to gain a spot or two on every restart. So I look at the 19 of Friesen, the 36 of Dave Bailey, people who are dirt savvy. This is their opportunity to get out there and try to pick up one or two spots at a time. It's been a slow pace coming back to the green flag in the restart zone just off of four, two orange cones on the front stretch fence. And the leader down right tight to the wall, down where there's a little bit of moist clay trying to find a little extra bite to get that launch down the straightaway. Oh, tackling any sideways. He'll go around in front of the field. A full, wow. a full 360. We stay under green. Your race leader now runs in 18th. How did everybody <laughs> miss that? And now it's Glenn Styers that's boxed in behind Tagliani, giving him a shot in the rear end, saying, come on, get out of my way. As out in front, last year's winner in the top spot in that 22 car, giving chase this year, driven by Kenny Schrader. The driver who led the first half of the race last year, Mark Antoine Cameron, he is just inside of the top 20. Lapsovich puts another lap down as it's five on the board in this one. 100 laps will be the distance. He bobbled. Sorry, Greg. I'm just stopping on you tonight. This is terrible. I feel like we're married. Trayton Lapsovich working that bottom side so smooth. And these were the two cars in the qualifying heats that were head and shoulders better than anyone else. And they're starting to gap Kevin Lacroix right now in that third spot a little bit. Still impressed by Daniel Baugh up there, hanging on with Dexter Stacy, and they, with Dave Bailey now, will go three wide into corner three. Bailey down to the bottom of the racetrack to the inside of Stacy. That car slowly drifts up the banking. There's still room for two cars to his outside, though. Stuart Friesen right behind them. He's looking for room as well. Stuart Friesen looking to make it three wide. He'll go through the middle of Stacy and Bailey, following Daniel Bois trying to get his way into the sixth spot. He and Dave Bailey door to door through corner number four. All the while, Brandon Watson giving chase. Fantastic racing in the second half of the top 10. Up at the front, Ken Schrader is right behind the 20 of Trayton Lapsovich. Whoa, Alex Tagliani does a 360 off a of turn four across the start finish line. He'll grab a gear and take off once again. Some of this racing from fifth on back is kind of what we saw in that qualifying heat at him. There's, there's drivers uh, being a little more aggressive than what I think we saw even last year, trying to make those moves. And here comes Stuart Friesen to the inside of Bois. And ahead of that, it's DJ Kennington challenging for the third spot. Kevin Lacroix got up to the top of the racetrack, just about ran out of banking. He had to lift last time in turn number two. That allowed Kennington the opportunity to drive to the bottom of the track. That's where he's pedaling right now. Kennington trying to get the power down in that 17. 
top two continue to be bro broken away. They can see Tagliani directly in front. Ken Schrader riding behind Trayton Lapsovich. Lacroix now has got back by DJ Kennington and keeping him in tow, but a little wobble there from the back end of the 74 allows DJ to move back down to the inside. Kennington trying as hard as he can down there on the bottom of the racetrack. It is tough to go down and make that pass. They just about make contact off of turn number four, but they keep them straight out in front. Alex Tagliani runs the risk of going a lap down. We're about to complete 13 laps of this fresh stone dirt classic. Well, the top five right now, I think Kevin Lacroix looks like he's got the biggest handful when he's going through those corners. The back end looks like it's right on the verge wanting to come around but he's doing a fantastic job holding down that third spot with dj kennington right there i have a concern for a race leader trade laps of it as he closes in on tagliani he's using a line that that worked for him last year but my concern greg is he's gone to it too early a, a dirt track with these tires as we got the all oh, mixing up off of turn number two larry jackson goes around off the front bumper of lp dumlin he goes for a second spin down the back stretch and he'll get that car in the right direction. We stay under green. All that right in front of the leaders and Kenny Schrader checked up just a little bit. So he'll lose touch from Trayton Lapsovich. He'll now have a couple of lap cars between he and second place. So we see the 18 of Tagliani showing smoke out of the back end. On a dirt track, especially with these heavy cars and the tires they're running, Every time they go around the racetrack through the corner, they're polishing this clay. It's getting smoother and smoother and slicker and slicker. So as Trayton continues to run that line that worked so well for him late in the race last year, he's actually making that line a little less effective every time he runs it. Setting a good pace here as he works by Aaron Turkey in the sitting bowl number 99. Ken Schrader behind that 99 machine, so a little gap between the top two. Styers goes around in turn number one, gets the car righted, he'll battle with LP Dumlin side by side down the back stretch. This happening about a half a straightaway ahead of Trayton Lapsovich. Right now the fight for third into some traffic as well as Kevin Lacroix splits between Strawn and the 18 of Tagliani. DJ Kennington still right behind him. And you've got a lap car back to Stuart Friesen, who's kind of by himself right now. He does have Daniel Bois a couple of car lengths off his deck lid, but he's trying to get by Larry Jackson now in the 84. Race leader coming off of turn number four to complete lap number 19. He's got eight car lengths over Ken Schrader in the 22. A couple of slower cars ahead of him. Remember, the break will be at lap 25. Someone will get the free pass during that break. So whoever is the top running car a lap down, they're going to get back on the lead lap. So it's sort of a race to either stay ahead of the leader, but if you do go a lap down, you want to make sure that you're the first car of those lap down cars. Lapsovich to the outside of Glenn Styers. He's right behind Dumoulin in the 47. Ken Schrader still Four or five car lengths off the back end of the 20, but still very early on in the race. And for drivers like Schrader and for Lacroix and Kennington, even Friesen and, and Bois back there, no need to really press things because this first break coming up quickly. And uh, if you're in a good rhythm right now, just kind of hold your pace. Great Lapsovich working the inside of LP Dumoulin, but I agree with you 100%, Greg. Everybody right now up there in the top six cars is probably pretty content with where they're running. Leader puts down lap number 22 as he works to the inside of Dumoulin and Schrader is there now. He's right there to the back bumper of this pass on Dumoulin in the 47. In fact, here he'll drop alongside Trayton just a little bit off of corner four. And still, Schrader not getting that car sideways in the least. He is keeping that car straight as an arrow all the way around the racetrack. In fact, he goes in a little bit tight. And then he'll come off in a straight line just ahead of LP Dumoulin. 24 laps complete this time at the line. There's a battle right there in front of the leaders, not wanting to go a lap down, but it'll be a lap from now that we'll see the break. Cameron trying to hold on to his car as he sees the leaders bearing down. Wallace Stacy would be the next 
car in line to go a lap down, and it's Dumoulin that right now would get the wave around. They'll come down across the stripe, and I believe what they will do is let the whole field complete lap number 25, and then they will throw the yellow. So we should see the yellow displayed after Wallace Stacy comes by. Leader, leader in the corner number three. It's going to say or Mark Antoine Cameron, depending on who has that final spot. Yellow flag will be displayed. Don't think it's a big surprise that Trayton Lapsovich is out in front. Kenny Schrader runs in the second spot. What is a big surprise to me is the 18 of Tagliani took the lead, and then the 18 of Tagliani spun out in front of the field, and nobody hit him. Yeah, we had an opportunity there for two or three pretty substantial collisions that didn't happen. And in fact, we stayed under green in a couple of situations where it looked like we might not be able to. So drivers keeping good control. And there goes Dumoulin. He'll go around the leaders and back on to the lead lap. So that would then make Glenn Styers the first car one lap down. So this will put 18 cars on the lead lap. Brayton Lapsovich, Ken Schrader, Kevin Lacroix, DJ Kennington, and Stuart Fries in your top five. Sixth through tenth, Brandon Watson, Daniel Bois in the 31, the 36 of Dave Bailey, the one of J.P. Bergeron, and the 24 of Thomas Neveu. Eleventh through 18, the three of Alex Gannett, 27, Andrew Ranger, 92, Dexter Stacy, 01, David A. Bear, four, Trevor Monahan, 96, Mark Antoine Camerant, 66 Wallace Stacy and 47 of LP Dumoulin. How about that Wallace Stacy? Staying on the lead lap. Great job by him. Everybody else from 19th on back is just one lap behind the leader. So scoring will make sure the field is in the lined up in the right direction. Some damage to the front of the 20 of Trayton Lapsovich. Not sure where that came from. I don't remember him getting in any sort of major skirmishes there in the path, uh, pass for the lead, but it was pretty hairy there <laughs> at the very start, so I'm sure somewhere along there. Unless he clipped that inside wall. Yeah, that's possible. We see that on Friday nights from our regulars. Uh, clipping the inside wall, and in fact, uh, there goes Tagliani now to the pit area. The pits are open. If you elect to pit, you forfeit your running position on the racetrack. But when you come out of the pit, they'll come out in the same order they went in. So Tagliani, Cameron, and Wallace Stacy will go to the back. Cameron and Stacy still on the lead lap, but they were running 16th and 17th. So really, what are they giving up? We'll take a quick break for those of you watching the stream, and we'll be right back from Oshwigan Speedway.